This is how. Delete. Huh? Maybe? Will that... Will that work? Or is it too much? Eh? I like it. It's kinda cool. Yeah. Save. Mm. There, uh, save it as select. But I want to save it as a different name, but that I want to highlight that name. Whatever. Oh well. Simple bike. One. Oops, I didn't press one, I just pressed start. Whatever. Chassis. Look at this. I totally forgot all about that shit. Uh, you can get different chassis, which are uh, like pre made, like beginning. They're like. They're not, they're not finished, you know? They're like, just bodies. It's really... It's awesome, you know? Makes things easier. There, there are so many things this game does to make things easier. Uh, what about... What if I took this thing and then... I'll, I've never been able to make something that works like this. But... Yeah. Uh, fuel. Edit. I don't think that. Yeah. I don't know if this is gonna work. <laughs> See, this is, I always wanted to, I wanted to make a bike that was made at, like, an angle, but the game doesn't support that, and it really sucks. <laughs> oh, it would be so cool. Alright, how would we do that? Oh my god. Huh? Maybe? Oh! Did you... It was working for a while. Damn it. It sucks. It really does. Oh. There. Okay. It will work. What? It was so much closer that time. Ah. 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 Fine. Alright, whatever. I... I can't... Wait, I can't load any of these, though, can I? Nope. See? I don't have the parts. Oh, it looks so amazing. Can I test track? Oh no, you can't test track it unless you unlock it. Damn it. That means I can't I can't use 
I can't actually build any of my things unless... That's insane. Marion. Those things are so cool. I love, like, that was like... I wanted to make a death machine. <laughs> I just kept on iterating on it. That that crazy fucking thing. Oh man, I want to get those things back working. That's for sure. Yeah. So I guess I'll load the simple bike again. Yeah. This is so awesome. <laughs> Especially at like a close up view. It's a funny... This is a cool one. Like, you know, basically, you want a fun vehicle to drive around the worlds in, right? When you're around here. And you can get boats and planes and shit too. So much. But let's go back to the town of Showdown Town. <laughs> I love that music in the that's so funny. That's uh battle toads. That's like that's a pause menu, I think. I think it I think that's what it is when you pause battle toads on NES. Ah, I see you're back. The jiggy that you won must now be collected from the blah blah blah. Use your wrench to release the jiggy from the jiggle van and transport it to the jiggy bank for safekeeping. See, there's a one where the jiggy bank is. Oh, yeah, look at the nighttime. Okay, look at how nice it is at nighttime. Like, come on. This game's got a day and night cycle. First of all, first of all, it's got a day and night cycle. What the fuck? Second of all, it looks awesome. When you come within range, press X. Then use the left analog stick. Yes, I know. See, there's a little... Little nut, because it's from Nutty Acres. So now it says zero, because... Yeah. We can put it on our trolley, and it looks amazing. Ah, oh, shit. Don't break the jiggy. Don't move. Uh. It's awesome when you have a stack of jiggies and you're driving around. It's awesome. Way cooler than a stack of boxes. Look... Yeah, that's what happens. Sick. Do you see? Banky, your first jiggy has opened another door, Act 2 of Nutty Acres. I think you grasped the basics, so I'll leave you to explore, chat, and add to your jiggy account. Good luck, yesterday's bear. One last piece of advice. Defend yourself by pressing the X button to swing your wrench. Should you require any tips or reminders, Bottles is the man, or Mole to see. Banjo doing good, so Humba gives special award of new bl blueprints. Humba add blueprints to vehicle database so Banjo can use when in-game worlds to play cheeky games. Not use around town though. Yeah, only trolley around town. So Humba just gave us three blueprints. Check it out. They're just like easy, quick things to pick. See? That's a cool one. It's better than the trolley. It's not like a trolley, right? It's because it's not built up. Well, I think there's a trolley inside, you know, a trolley piece, but then there's blocks around it to make it bigger. And that's a, that's a good idea because uh, when I saw that, it made me think about that. And I, I ended up building like cages and shit like that. Humble just got a delivery. No shit. So I can go and spend some notes now. Spend, spend, spend. And look at how goddamn nice this looks. Like, seriously, the atmosphere is ridiculous. Oh my god. It's totally worth just like. Going, okay, well, what if I just sit here and wait? And watch the game change. Interact with all the characters. Like, obviously there's a limit to it, right? Like, obviously there's only a certain amount of things that will happen, but... You get what I mean, you know? It's... 
It's just the fact that it exists. You know? And that it's like it's not that like after ten hours or like after an hour or whatever amount of time you wanna say. You know, after whatever amount of time you can see patterns that it repeats, you know, like it's just like everything, you know, after looking at it for a certain amount of time you see patterns and it repeats. But it's awesome in its moments, right? So that's why it's awesome to just chill. Wow. <laughs> you know, good sounds. It looks awesome. It looks unlike anything. Seriously. Look, there's a fucking box at the top. I, I never noticed that. Right there, you can see it. So, uh... I'm gonna walk up to here and look at my, uh, records. This is important business. See, it only says 46 out of 200. That ain't good. But will it say 46 out of 200 here? Yeah, it does. Okay, that's good. I was worried. I was like, oh shit, like, wait. I, I was worried if, um... The, the notes were something that was in each act. I wasn't sure. I, I said earlier on that I thought that there's a certain amount of notes in each act that you have to collect, but I guess I'm wrong. Blah, blah, blah. So, now that we're in this world, let's immediately change our vehicle. See how easy it is to change your vehicle? It's fucking awesome. And... Each act has a different starting point. There's uh, different Jinjos, different challenges, blah blah blah. There's a Jinjo right here. Let's go see him. Jinjo challenges, what are you good for? If it isn't old Banjo, are you up for a game at Jinjo Sumo? This is a tough one, that's for sure. Don't laugh, I'm stronger than I look. First get pushed out of the field of combat as a loser. So I'll I'll use this humble one. Because it's nice and wide. And what you gotta do is you just gotta push that thing out of the barrier. And depending on what vehicle you pick, it can be extremely fucking difficult. Or it could be easy. Right now it's Damn it. I might have lost right there. So sometimes it's easy, but uh, this time it's a little bit harder. But usually, you know, if you pick a, a hard, if you pick a vehicle that makes it hard, then it's fucking hard. But uh, I picked a vehicle where it wasn't that hard. It's definitely on the easy side. All right, let's get the get them notes. I see a note over here. Boing, missed you from before. And there's notes everywhere else. What about over there? We can just explore these levels and get all the notes when we have like a crazy fast vehicle as well. Check this out. Driving my motorcycle underwater. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I love the way the water looks. Like, I seriously love the way the water looks. Hey, look, there's a bird in the water. You can see him. See, you can see there's totally a bird right there. See? Up there. Tuh. Whoa! Let's swim. What the hell? Tuh. Alright, let's explore these gears. <laughs> Cause this is some crazy shit. There's a school of fish down there. This game's got so much shit. Honestly, I, there's so much stuff going on. I can't believe people had the balls to be like, Look, the level's all big and empty. What do you do? Brr, brr, brr. 
and then they have like a video with like hundreds of thousands of views and all these people are like yeah banjo kazooie 3 sucks he's right random guy but it's like yo uh play the play it. just i dare you i dare you play it and say it's shitty it's ridiculous how dare you say Where are we going, Banch? So these giant freaking gears are so freaking cool. I want to go into one of those holes, but uh, I want to go and ride on one of these on the side instead. One of the spots on the edge. Uh, go. Oh well. <laughs> Nice. Oh my god, that looks so nice. Oh, look, look. Oh, he was standing off. Oh. See this? See, see how they intersect? It's fucking awesome. Come on. Oh shit. Banjo, don't you die. Don't you die on me. Don't you die on me, Banjo. Okay, we totally just got up on another gear. Uh oh, uh oh. No, 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 banjo, 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 don't. don't. Damn it, banjo. No. <laughs> oh, banjo. No, banjo. <laughs> oh, shit. So where that? Oh my god! I gotta fly. I gotta get back. What? Hey, come on! Like, doesn't this look a little like too awesome? Like super color? Like seriously? I think I personally personally think uh, people who made Grand Theft Auto 4, you know, Rockstar North. I think uh, they made Grand Theft Auto 4, and then they played Banjo Kazooie 3, and then they're like, "Damn it, we should make." Grand Theft Auto 5 look like that. <laughs> well, I don't know, it's just the colors, yo. Okay, so uh, that giant, giant, giant gear, that's the one I went up on. I rode it all the way up to, uh, rode it up to that. Oh my god, how did I do that? Well, yeah, I guess it's yeah, it totally is possible. It's, it just looks so weird. So that that gear up to the right of that giant gear, I I went up on that one, and then that smaller one linking to it, I went up to that one, but then that fourth gear, that bigger one, it's going in a way like it's going clockwise and it goes down. So there's no way for me to get on it. But yeah, even if I did whatever, I guess uh. I guess I gotta jump on one of those, like, I'm on the, so when you're on that third one, that small one, you gotta jump onto that big one and then find a way to jump inside to one of those inner pieces. Then once you get up there, there's nothing else to do. There's a railing you might be able to, anyways. There is no point to doing any of that, it's just fun as hell. I just really enjoy it. I just, had a, I just had a lot of fun doing that and shit, so that's why I still do it. I don't know. It's fun, okay? Whoa. Hit him. Oh, I missed. Whoa. Alright, we gotta do some of these uh, challenges eventually, because I still haven't done any of those challenges. Look, he's a wind up ant. So awesome. The lava coming out of the faucets. This game is too fucking awesome. Alright, so I'm gonna take a little break right now and uh, we'll play more Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts next time. Look at that.
It's like someone cut a little piece and then folded it out. You can see what's under. Ah, I love this. Oh, it's like it's, it really is sad that there's like so many reviews and videos and the general opinion is that this game wasn't good because what the fuck is wrong with what what the hell what the hell uh, even if it wasn't like banjo kazooie one and two it was uh better in certain ways and uh very very different the game that it was trying to be it's the best that it is you know for the game that it was trying to be, I don't think there is a better game. Basically. Yep, yep, yep. Break, break, break. I'll see you later. Thanks for watching. Click like if you enjoyed watching. Bow, bow, bow. Alright, see ya. Peace.